Hello, hello. Hello? There we go. Hello, welcome everybody to the stream. Today we're gonna be playing some more Morrowind. Uh, and we're gonna be playing it until I'm done with the game, I guess. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> hello. Alright. I don't know where I last left off. Hold on. What's this quick save here? In the Grayslands. Oh, that's right. Last time we lost a bunch of progress to a saving or a crash. Um, where was I? Was I in the Grayslands escorting? Oh, that's right. I'm escorting you. Oh, yeah. Nope. I got that. Captions. I'm on it. I'm on it. Captions are back. There we go. Oh, oops. I forgot to change that. Hold on. Give me a second. Elder Scrolls 3 Morrowind update. Okay, hopefully that doesn't... Hopefully that doesn't screw up a lot of things. I really hope. I'm really hoping here. Okay, hello? Okay, okay, I think we're good. Um, where are we? Ugh. Okay, well, we've got a long walk ahead of us. What? Why are you getting in fights? Stop. Stop it. Come here. What? Where are you going? Thanks for catching that. Oh my god, I hate Morrowind AI. Like, oh god, as much as I love this game, it's it kind of hurts to play it. Like, not gonna lie. Wait, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Make sweet rolls in Morrowind Kitchen Simulator? Maybe. for me I don't know I hope I mean I hope I can make sweet rolls that'd be cool Die. what what have you picked a fight with this time please be careful please be careful oh did I accidentally hit you I'm so sorry um also, wait, I was just kind of in a haze right there because I was too busy worrying about everyone. Hey, what's up? Um, but no, we can't make sweet rolls in Morrowind, unfortunately. But maybe when Skywind comes out, we can. Welcome, Magic. Let me... I'm gonna look to see if I have a... I mean, you know what I could do? I could try... Okay, here, here's the deal. Here's the deal. So there's a DLC for Cooking Simulator that adds baking. If you guys would be interested in watching that, I'll get it. And then we can make sweet rolls. We can make honest to goodness sweet rolls in Cooking Simulator. So, it's up to you. Um, I'm still looking to see if I have a spell that can heal someone else. I'm gonna be honest, I probably don't. I mean, yeah, most of my spells are probably on me. Like, they, they do their effect on me. Uh, that's unfortunate. Don't get into any more fights, alright? Yeah, pick it up if it goes on sale. I mean, I'll forget by that time, honestly.
Also, which ha with how much fun I had on that stream, wish you had time to watch my cooking simulator stream. <laughs> I'll try and get it at a good time for you next time then. Uh, and Titanfall 2 stream, uh, so Cooking Simulator ran pretty horribly um, on stream. So I don't know if my computer can handle streaming Titanfall, plus my avatar, etc. Like I don't, I don't know if my computer can handle that. I'm really hoping it does. No, I'm not I'm not gonna adjust my schedule to match yours. I'm just gonna try and get you at a time that you can watch. Like, you know, a Saturday, like right now. Alright, Zynab Camp should be just over here. Finally, I'm free of this person. God. Not even free all Saturday. Oh god. Uh Well, there's always the VOD. Yeah, yesterday we made nutrient paste. All right. And I also experimented with getting the right um, color. Yes, I don't know where to begin. It is such an honor to meet you. Yes, I've returned with your quote unquote Telvani bride. All right, bye. You're in a VOD from a Sea of Thieves streamer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember you told me. Okay, we're gonna save here real quick. All right. So. Uh, so I am the Nereverine, oops. So I'm the Nereverine of the Zainab and the Urshalaku, and now I have to go to the Ahamusa camp. Oh yeah, and that's what we lost too. We lost all that progress. Oh my god. This is <laughs> this is why you save often, kids. We're gonna put on our our fast pants. Wee Wee Stupid fetchers can't catch up to me. Oh yeah, no, the leaps get crazier. This is nothing. You wanna see some leaps? Watch this. Oh shoot, my health is dangerously low. Uh, I'm gonna die if I try a leap. Give me a second to use my, my uber charge spell. Yeah. It doesn't actually make me invincible uh like the like the Uber charge in GF2, but it does it does give me a lot more health. I'm just gonna give myself like twenty thousand health, that should be enough. Just one more time. Alright, that should be good. And now we're going to use Leapfrog. Whee! Now that's a leap. All right. Uh, Go ahead, Outlander. What do you need? It's a wise woman to your it. It's, Yeah, it's not flying. It's falling with style. Hello. Your Gulak Khans, Kausi, Dutadalk, and Yanamu. Okay, so those are the ones I need to talk to. So we've already done this before, that's why I'm going through this really fast. Hello. The Reverine. Yes, the deeds. Okay, hold on. Uh-huh. Go to her. 
Tell her you would do the deeds of a hero. Okay. There we go. Go ahead, Outland. Go ahead, Outlander. Uh, oh, spell making. That's another thing. Uh, I want a restore health target. Uh, here, we'll do like that for five seconds. I want to make a spell that will heal other people. I'm also going to give someone Sanctuary on target. Sanctuary 100 should make them impossible to hit. Two minutes of Sanctuary should be enough. Uh, keep... Uh, keep companion safe. We'll just call it that. Thank you very much. And you will buy stuff, so I will sell you... Uh, my things. There you go. Thank you. Nereverine. Uh... I want the Yahoo Musa to name me Nereverine. I will examine your proofs and you will tell me your story. Uh-huh. The Yahoo Musa need a safe place. In seasons past, uh, they go to Aldadroth. Uh-huh. Yes. Okay, so. So where's Aldadroth? It's right next to Sh to Shrine to Shirogorath. A great an island a great distance north as the racer flies. Okay, so I have to go in to Aldadroth, clear it out. Then make it safe. We are not traitors to haggle over the meaning of safe. We are not a warlike people. We are not strong with warriors and witch wizards. Make Aldadroth safe for us. Then I will accompany you to Aldadroth. Okay, so. Is there something I can do? Is there something you need? Okay, so we gotta go to Aldadroth, which has been marked on our map. Wonderful. So I'm just gonna head north and boing. One nice big leap and bound. Oh man, the speed, the speedy pants give excellent, um, excellent air control. All right, and now. Oh, now I can go ham on these guys. Um, I'm still gonna improve this skill. Uh, the one for one-handed weapons. Hello, are you friendly? I don't know you, do I? Are you here for the dance? Or are you here with gold hats? Uh, I have no clue. Okay, I'm just gonna watch this go down. Just Who do you want to win? I don't know who's gonna be hostile. To me. Ow! Die, Nick's Hound. There we go. Okay. Who's gonna win? Who? Wh who? Play, head your bets, guys. Head your bets. The Orc or the Dunmer? Who's gonna win? I'm betting on the Dunmer. I mean, the Dunmer's a powerful mage. He's got like a, a bound shield and a bound mace. The Orc. The Orc is the green guy. Okay. The Orc is dead. Four paw. Hello, Joris. Who are you, Outlander? And what are you doing here? I don't know you, Outlander. What are you doing here? Are you here to worship at this foul shrine? Uh. I'm just gonna tell him I'm the Nereverine. 
I'm the Nerebrine. No, you are the false incarnate and the devil of lies. You claim to be chosen by Azira and the savior of Morwen, but you curse the tribunal, call them false gods, and turn the people against their true protectors. You are nothing but a dreamer and deceiver and a mad servant of the devil, Dagoth Ur, and you must be destroyed. So is he going to be hostile now? It says this character is in combat. What, with me? Die, yeah, okay. Okay, so he turns hostile, so... Uh, this guy's clearly not a fan of the Reverie Prophecies, so I'll just kill him. Sorry, dude. Business is business. I brought back another one. You... I had to think about it for just for a second. Yeah, the business and new business. Oh, you will die. You will die. Actually, I don't think I will. I don't think I will die. You know, considering I have 20, 20,137 health, I think I'll. I think I'll live. I think you might the one, be the one who's gonna die. Die. Dude, you have, like, no health. How are you still standing? You will die. God, I love Morrowind combat. <laughs> miss, 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 miss. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Jeez. Demon Mace. Oh, that's cool. Doral. Oh, yeah, this guy was, uh... Yeah, whack him with the stick. Hey, Metamus. Uh, yeah, this guy's got Endoral gear on him. Oh, I'm over encumbered. No, all of those were misses. I was missing. It goes... Like, once every 15 swings. It's great. Love Morrowind so much. All right. Uh, what was my... Oh, it was Gojuice. Gojuice was the one for strength. Yeah. Also, the guy, like, towards the end, he was trying to cast uh, Summon Greater Bonewalker, but he kept failing. <laughs> and it never showed up. And it couldn't save him. And then he died. It's great. Morrowind combat is, like, very dice roll based. And it's, uh... It's very easy to... Uh not like I, I don't know it's it's very easy to um miss very easy to miss your attacks it's like a fistful of fracks accuracy percent when someone can fill up <laughs> yeah all right let's get out a kill spell oh i forgot I'm still fast all right let's save right here gonna save often gonna remember to save often all right, Alp Daedroth. Cool, I made it in without uh, crashing. All right, where, where are some normal pants? Pants, there we go. Pretty sure 50% doesn't mean 50% to go where you're aiming. It just Oh, a 50% chance you're <laughs> Blicko's the Shadow Realm. Oh dear. All right, I'm not going to speed my way through this dungeon because it is my first time in here. Oh, why hello there. Great friendly worshippers of Sheogorath. Uh, Imperial Netch Blade. Crimson Despair Amulet. Bone Mold. Alright, cool. So this is Aldeidroth. Uh, where's this door lead? Inner Shrine. Okay. Seems like a nice place, you know, once you get rid of the Daedra worshippers. Seems like a nice place to stay. You can see why they're here. So there's a left wing. And this is the right wing, I assume. Yeah, okay. Well, let's go do a Ben Shapiro and uh, destroy the left wing. <laughs> Alright, here we are. Oh, dear. Oh, there's combat going on. Oh, they're fighting Daedra in here. Uh, 
Are these guys also temple agents? I think they're temple agents. And then these these people here are like just Daedra worshippers. Oh, hydrate. I have to go get my water. Give me just a second. Forgot to grab water. I'll be right back. Once again, everyone, put put down your bets. Who's gonna win? Oh, okay. Danger worshippers are attacking me now. Who's gonna win? The the dinosaur and the uh, and the worshippers or the uh, or the temple people? It's not looking great for the temple people right now. Temple people are down one. The clan fear is still up, and so are all the other two danger worshippers. Betting on the dinosaur. All right. Yeah, you can see that guy's failing to cast spells, which is hilarious. I should have killed you sooner. Yeah. I think I'm also betting on the danger worshippers on this one. Oh, they brought out a new clan fear. So that clan fear was a summon, huh? The dinosaur was a summon, apparently. I thought it was, uh... I thought it was just like here. Okay. And you. Wow, you have glass stuff. That's amazing. Oh, and it's pristine too. It's like perfectly good. Why do you have glass armor? All right, okay, so there's two. Two ways to go here. Ooh, look at all this. That doesn't look like the Shea Gorath I know. But uh, let's see. We take a skull, take a bunch of gold. Oh shit! What's this? Is that a Dramora? What is that? Yeah, it was a Dramora Lord. He had a dwarven spear, huh? Hold on, I need to check if my armor's doing all right. Yeah, he doesn't appreciate me taking his stuff. I mean, clearly. Uh, all of my armor still looks fairly all right. Well, too bad, Mr. Tomorrow Lord. I'm gonna keep sealing more of your stuff. Daedra Heart. I'm gonna loot the hell out of this place. Everything in here, mine. Where's this go? Inner shrine. Okay, I'm gonna keep. I'm gonna go around this time. The other way. Check out what's in here. Oh, hey, it's Azura. Wait, why is Azura here? Was this one Malakath? I thought this was a Sheo Gorath shrine. Guess not. Okay, well, sorry, Azura, but I'm gonna take your stuff too. It's all mine. Any nice alchemy ingredients. Oh, hello. There's your moral lord. This one's got a... Got a dwarven warhammer. 
Yeah, you have you have channel points. I'm glad you've realized. Okay, let's go. Let's head over into the uh, right wing now. Wanna? I wanna explore everywhere. Okay, yeah, the people don't respawn. That's cool. Right wing. Oh, oh, I hear a battle. It's two more Endoral Temple guys versus two uh, cultists, it looks like. Anyone down here? Who's gonna win? I'm thinking... Oh, the Endoral guys won this time. Oh, that was an easy fight for them. Who are you, Outlander? Um... I'm just gonna break it to them that I'm the Nereverine. What do you want? Who am I? I am the Nereverine. Now you die! <laughs> <You'll> die. <laughs> Alright. And now that they've attacked me, I am... Am I getting all the Sanguine items? Wait, there's Sanguine items here? I'm just grabbing literally everything, so I don't know. I mean, I probably am. I haven't gone to the inner shrine yet. Oh no, this is Malakath. Oh wait, no, never mind. He's got four arms, that's Dagon. Mayrun's Dagon. No loot from Mayrun's Dagon, huh? Now you die! Uh, no you. You are the one who is dying now. Alright, and then... Holy shit, Molag Ballin. Molag Ballin just put some basketballs right there. He's, he's Molag Ballin. Alright, no loot in here either. That kind of sucks. Now you die. I'm gonna go out from here. And then, which way? This way to the inner shrine. I know there's a bunch of doors that lead to the inner shrine, but I wanna go through this one. Oh, more battles. Okay, another temple agent versus uh, <laughs> um, a cultist. Who are we betting on here? I'm thinking the cultist is going to win because she's got like a pretty big hammer. And she's she's able to paralyze the, uh, the other one like that. Yeah, I think the cultist is going to win this one. Yep, cultist won. But you won't win against me. Yeah, bonk, bonk, bonk. Just a steel warhammer, huh? Alright, cool. Raw ebony, huh? Alright, now instead of doing the usual just take the... take the trap to the face that I've been doing because I have all the health, I want to actually use a probe. <laughs> I want to actually use a probe for once. Um, but first I need to open it. So, uh, wait. Open sesame, here we go. Um, R. Open it up. And disarm trap failed. Trap disarmed. All right, so they've got Belt of Orc Strength. Nagasta Kavada Kavakis. This, this book is, like, somewhat of a legend. Apparently it's written in, like, slowed language or something like that. Let's read it. An obscure text in the language of the slowed, purposely written by the second... or purportedly written by the second era Western necromancer, Nagasta. Nagasta, Kavada, Kavakis! As... Completely incomprehensible. I think there's, like... This is written in, like, code. I think there's just, like, a simple, like, a really simple cy cipher to figure this out. Uh, but I don't know it off the top of my head, so I'm just gonna hold on to that. Ah!
Die, Fetcher. Damn it, I was gonna try and loot him before he fell over to get the uh, Daedric armor he's got, but no. That wouldn't work. So I goes to the left wing. Oh shit, what? Oh shit, there's just. Okay, there's a Golden Saint in here. Uh, that's definitely a Sheogorath thing. My god, these people are powerful. Die. Powerful Daedra at work here. You have a glass poison sword. Neat. Let's go to the right wing. Oh, and this is... This is Sheogora. Old Uncle Sheo. Alright, and what's in here? Nothing. Nothing. A whole lot of nothing. The antechamber. Oh, I hear spells going off. Who's fighting? Lord of Cheese! Oh, God, what a voice crack right there. Alright, cultist versus... Uh, oh, yeah, no, that temple... That temple person is so dead. Holy crap, three to one, no way. Yep. Now they're coming for me. What are they wearing? Is that bone mold? Or is that dwarven armor? Oh, it is bone mold. Maybe it wasn't supposed to kill this one. That person had a name, but, uh, whatever. We'll live with it. It didn't say that the, uh, the, 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 the prophecy has been, uh, broken or whatever. Whatever the thing is when you kill an essential NPC. It must have not been that important. Dead warlock. Ah. Wait, that guy's a vampire. Dead elite ordinator. Oh, these are elite ordinators. Doral boots. Interesting. There's just some random blighted rat in here for some reason. Sheogorath, Daedric Lord of Cheese. Alright, so I've already explored there. Now we're up here. What are these guys? Y'all y'all cultists or something? Oh, and there's just a scamp here. Hey guys. Meow. 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 <laughs> just meowing at each other. What about you? Well, 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 what do we have here? Do you have your invitation? Are you a player of the game, or one of the game pieces, or a humble spectator? I'm just a spectator. Some just like to watch. They also serve Sheogorath, who stand and clap. Please yourself. The invitation. Were you summoned, or do you come by your own free will? It hardly matters. The party is open to all, but make sure you pay your respects to the host, and grab a drink from Lustedrek over in the corner, and feel free to mingle with the other guests to join the dancing, chancing throng. I believe the ones in the gold masks are party crashers, but all are welcome to the Mad God's Mask and Bellicose Ball. Aw, that sounds like fun. Hey, man. What now? Hey, Lusted Drake. Want a drink, buddy? Got anything you want, so long as it's Sujama. Yeah, I'll take some Sujama. Thanks, man. Free drinks, Fla! It's on the house! Only you gotta drink it here! Don't want you drinking and flying out there! Uh... Decline. Fine, you're the guest! Whatever you want! I'm gonna save here just in case this does something really bad to me. Back already? Well, go ahead, drink up! It's free! I'll, I will drink a mug of Sujama. Okay, that didn't seem to do anything, so that's cool. 
it didn't like make me blackout drunk and transport me to uh, the Daedric realm of the Shivering Isles. So we're good then, I suppose. Um, Probably nothing. Man, I really don't want to crash these guys' party, but like, I feel like in order to f beat the game, I might have to. Hold on, I should look this up. <laughs> I should. I, I'm gonna look this up really quick because I don't want to crash these guys' party. They're having a good time. Sheogorath. You know, they're having a good time with their buddy Sheogorath. Good old Uncle Sheo. Uh, let me just look this up. Ahemusa. Ahemusa camp. Uh, Morrowind. Actually, maybe Ahamusa Nereverine. I'm gonna just check. I'm gonna check that I don't have to kill these guys. Uh, Aldeidroth. Easiest method is to kill everyone. Uh... Coordinators. Uh, you need to reach the antechamber, enter the shrine, go down the stairs. You do not need to clear out the left or right wing. Oh, I didn't have to kill any of them. Okay. Uh, you will encounter her. Oh, nice. Okay, so I don't have to kill her. Cool. I'm gonna not kill her then. What? Hello. Admire fail. Okay. Um. Hey, hey, what's up? Uh, so. Player of the game. Here we go. Well, well, well. Do you have a game you want to play? Tell me. I will plead the pitiful case of the Ahimusa. My goodness, never have I heard such a speech, such a moving tale, such suffering, and right here at our front door. You shame me. Please, bring the poor little things here. We won't hurt them. I can't speak for the ordinators, of course, but I promise my followers will not harm the Ahimusa while they are here at Aldeidroth. Yay, we did it. We don't have to crash their party. We're bringing more people for the party. Woo! I mean, what's not to like about a little bit of madness, you know? We're having fun. Right in their shrine. And outer shrine, and then will be getting out of here and then I can go back and then I probably have to do another little escort quest but then that won't be so bad okay quick save okay just in case make sure not to crash and now we just gotta head south uh, back to the Ahamusa camp all right and where are my speedy pants Speedy Pants, and Leapfrog, and away we go. And here we are, Ahamusa Camp. <laughs> Two jumps. And oops, oops, oops. Wise Woman's Yurt. Hello. Yes, you may accompany me. Please accompany me to Aldeidroth. It is safe. Uh, and when you have brought me to the old sanctuary beneath the ruins, I'm, and I may see the great statue of Sheogorath in the inner shrine, and I will sure, surely know you have made Aldeidroth safe for the Ahamusa, and I will name you Ahamusa Nereverine. All right, cool. Uh, follow me. I gotta take off my speedy pants again. All right, come with me. And let me hit you with that, um, 
keep companion safe spell. There you go. So now I just have to lead her straight north. Uh, probably through the water. But that's okay. And I'm just gonna kill everything along the way. I'm trying to watch this while doing something else, but Twitch hates switching audio devices for some reason. Uh, that sucks. This is the end of you, Swit. <laughs> that miss? Oh, let me make sure to switch from my my little little pokey pokey stick uh, to something that's actually going to kill things. Uh, doesn't have to be strong. I'll just use a chitin short sword. A swit. Swit is a contraction for, like, a slow wit or soft wit. It's basically just an insult. There are several other insults that the Dunmer like to use. There's, uh, Enwa, which just means outlander. And there's also, uh, Fetcher, which is, like, you know, it's someone who goes and fetches things for you. So basically, it means slave. Or just generally someone of low social stature. Oh shit, there's a dreg down there. Oh wait, she can walk on water. What? Fetcher. All right, drag dead. Well, would you look at that? She's got water walking. Well, if she's got water walking, then I don't really have anything to worry about. There we go. Come on, let's go. Literally Jesus right here. Alright. Come here, you swit. I dare you. I don't know why she's calling a cliff racer an Enwa. Because cliff racers are literally native to here, but okay. Where are you going? Going. Morrowind pathfinding is truly a mystery. Alright, come here. We're almost there at Aldeidroth. And it's a really good thing she's got water walking, because otherwise these slaughterfish would just absolutely destroy her. Cliff racers again. God, I hate these cliff racers. It's kind of funny how she says that. Die, Fetcher! <laughs> hey, wait for me. here. Hey, wait for me. 
And then, wait, hold on, real quick, I wanted to check. So there's a Zainab camp right here, Ahamusa camp, and then we did the Urshalaku. So these two are done. We're doing this one. And then what's the last one? Ah, Arabenison camp. This one is the last one that we need to become the Nerevarine. Alright, so we gotta go to the inner shrine, I think. I think that's what she said. Come hither. There you go, there's Cheogoras Shrine. You need to get closer or something? Like, we're here. Thank you. There we go. Okay. Uh, the Ahamusa shall be saved, and as you wish, I, now I shall name you Nereverine of the Ahamusa. Yes, name me Nereverine. Thank you very much. War leader of the Ahamusa, protector of the people. I also give you the Madstone of the Ahamusa, which will, shall be assigned to all Dunmer that you are the Nereverine, and that the Ahamusa shall follow you in all things, even unto death, until the enemy is defeated, or until you are dead. Now I can stay only briefly. Soon I must return to Ahimusa camp to make preparations to relocate here. Yay! So we have the mad stone. Yes, Outlander. How do you? All right, we're just gonna get out of here now. Yep, we're getting close. We're almost there. We have six out of the seven people we need to unite. We're on the last one now. Here, there'd be a lot more tedious quests. Yeah, the jump spell. It, it does a lot. It makes the game go by so much faster. Like the uh, the jump spell and the fast pants, like this this cuts the gameplay time of this game by so much. Um. Speaking of which, I need my jump spell. Where is it? I mean, the only really tedious quests now are escort quests. Because, you know, I don't, I don't like doing tedious things. Right? Goodbye, Ahamusa Camp. Real quick, let's save. Let's make sure that I don't lose all that. Because that was probably, like, the, the most, um tedious series of quests I just did there, and I don't want to do that again. there. Here we are. Era Benesum Camp. Yeah, Mr. Crab Scuttling Sons. You want to see some Mr. Crab Scuttling? This is some Mr. Crab Scuttling right here. Okay, honestly, even though this robe signifies that I'm like the, the Hortator or whatever, I don't really like how it looks. I think I look better without it. <laughs> That's too much fun. Alright, let's get me pants. Alright. 
so... Oh, you guys have chitin armor. Nice, nice. Is that a pet shulk? Nope, that's a hostile shulk. Okay. Uh, hello. You are the outlander who claims to be Nereverine? Uh, you'll find no welcome here, I'm afraid. Why not? We know about the prophecies. Our Ashkan and Gulag Khan say they are foolish superstition. There will be trouble if you speak with them. Perhaps you should speak to our wise woman, Manarai. I think so too. All right. Where's the wise woman? Must be this big one. This? Wise woman's here. Here we go. Hello. Is someone's pet? No. Stab. <laughs> yeah. Well, to be fair, it attacked me soon. It attacked me, like, as soon as I said that. Yeah. I love how the dispose of corpse sounds just schlorp. Sounds like I'm eating them or something. <laughs> That's pretty nasty now that I think about it, because uh, I am I do that to every corpse. <laughs> All the humanoid ones, too. Okay. Yes, I would seek your counsel. I warn you, be wary of Ashkan Ulath Pal and his supporters. They all hate Outlanders and love nothing more than to kill them and loot them. They do not respect customer hospitality and they think nothing of killing unarmed men, women, or children. They are bad men and bad leaders and you should fear them. So what should I do about that? Should I kill them? Ulath Pal is always in his yurt, protected by his bodyguard, Gulag Khan Ahaz. I am just a weak woman, and I I am sure you would know best. But I would kill Ahaz first, the weaker of the two. And if I had secret magics and powers, I would use them to preserve me while I defend against two enemies at once. Oh, this is going to be easy. So you want me to just kill them? Oh, this is easy. I got this. I got this. I'll kill them. I will absolutely kill them. So you want me to just kill them? I'll do it. I'll do it. Bet. I'll kill him. Thanks for permission. Bye. Um, how do we want to kill them? What do you guys think? You know, what? I'm gonna use the tactical nuke. Hey guys. I'm just gonna make sure they hate me. Yep. All right. <laughs> yeah. Senate kills heart of fire, wind of a haz. All right, and because I did it within that hut, which is not technically part of the world, the tactical nuke did not destroy everything. So we're good. Um, we'll just switch this off of Go that. Ahead, Outlander. What do you need? Hello, yes, I've done your bidding. Hi. I seek your counsel. I warn you, be wary of... Wait, no, I killed them, though. But wait, I killed them. Hold on. I have slain one of the war-loving... Oh, do I have to kill every... every single one of these guys? Uh... So I have to kill Ashu Ahi now, too? Is there anyone else I have to kill? Okay, well, I'll, I'll kill Ashu Ahi if you... if you so wish. Renabi Ashu Ahi. Hey there, buddy. You've slain one of my people. You must pay with your life. Okay. I'll let you get a few good hits on me. I deserve it. Yeah, this is about to be an Anakin moment. I'm gonna turn to the dark side. I'm gonna kill Dagother and just take his place. 
He's gone. Mountain Spirit. Oh, that's what was giving him a shield. Look at all this armor I've got on me now. <laughs> Just from killing all these people. Alright, I killed him too. Yes, Outlander? Uh, wait, but I killed him. The Reverine? I do not know myself what to think. What if I... Would you... Would you be more willing to think that I'm the Nereverine if I give you some money? No. Okay. Okay, you wish to be named Erebenesim Nereverine? Never. Not while Ashkan or like Poe. Uh, okay, they all hate Outlanders. Uh, we'll suffer an Outlander to rule them. If you would be... You must kill him. Oh, I also have to kill Renabi. Okay. And then you must help me make peace loving Arabana some Gulakan Ham Amu or Ashkan. Ashkan Han Amu would could then name you Nereverine Arabanison. Okay. Okay, so I have to kill Renabi. Okay, so Renabi's the last one that I must kill. Hey Renabi, what's up dude? Oh you're a magician. You've slain one of my people, you must pay with your life. Die, Fetcher. Die, Fetcher. Oh, you blasting them spells fast. You know what? Just for you. Just for you, because I, I think you're so special. I want to bust out the Mage Bane. I still have it, right? Do I still have a Mage Bane, or did I sell it? I might have sold Mage Bane. Nope, there it is. Mage Bane. I thought that this actually, like, takes out his magic or anything. It actually just does resist magic, but I don't really care about that. <laughs> yep, there we go, he's dead. Alright, cool. And I'll take all of your stuff, thank you very much. Hello. I would seek your counsel. Now, with Ashkan Ulath Pal and his supporters dead, we may consider the Nereverine prophecies and how you may be named Erebenesim Nereverine. Okay. All you need to do is persuade Gulag Khan Han Amu to become the Ashkan of the Erebenesim. Seek him out in his Gulag here. Be prepared, however. He is not the material one would choose when looking to make an Ashkan. He may be difficult to persuade. Uh, I'm sure he'll be persuaded with some money or some sort of quest. Surely, surely there must be something. Hello. You are the outlander who claims to be the Nereverine. You'll find no welcome here, I'm afraid. Hey man, how would you like to be the Ashkan? Uh-huh. What's your background? You are our friend of the Ashlanders. Okay, um. I think I just need a Just there. Bribe fail, you insult me. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, shit. Reverine? Uh. Admi oh, damn. Okay. More money? More money. There we go. Alright, dude. Do you want to be the Ashcon yet? Dunmer. No, that doesn't help. Ghostgate? No, healer. Adutlamanu is our healer. You want to give me a little advice? No one will ever grow rich hunting. There's a pure pleasure for itself. Take your time. Uh, okay. <laughs> little secret? The old place is Nikulefdink. Okay, that's that's cool, but can you 
Can you become Ashkan? Dagoth, er. How do I get you to be Ashkan? Traitor. Master Apollo. What's your trade? You are a herder. Okay, but like. Can you become Ashkan? Wait, I was talking to the wrong guy this whole time. Oh my god. There's Hanamu. No matter what Menorai says, I'm not interested. I don't want to be Ashkan. Everyone despises me. I'm a weakling and a coward and a fool. I hate it, but it's true. I just want to be... Yes, I recognize it. Renabi wore that robe, the robe of Erudan the Wise. It was handed down to Renabi through his family, but what has that to do? Here. Uh, I'll give him the robe. Thank you. Your lesson is clear. It is the robe that gives wisdom and counsel, and it is the idea of the robe that gives confidence to the tribe, but it is the Ashkan who wears the robe. The Ashkan who res accepts responsibility for the safety of the tribe and who holds the fate of the tribe in his hands. This is a sobering lesson, and I must give it thought. Yes, indeed. You can have the road. I, I don't really care. It's yours, dude. <laughs> All right. Hello? Do you have anything else to say about that? Uh -huh. Yeah, no, he's, he's good. Okay, I'm going to go talk back. I'm going to go back and talk to him. Uh, he's still in here. Okay. What do you fucking mean? Oh, more? Okay. Here, take it. Thank you, your lesson is clear. Yes. Saint kills heart of fire. Uh, oh, and the war axe. Take it. Aha, okay. There we go, finally. It's the Ashkan who bears the axe, and the Ashkan who expects from the Thank you for your lesson. And I shall name you Nereverine. Thank you very much. Thank you. I promise that as Ashkan, I shall do my best to amend the dark reputation of the Arabinism. As my first action as chief, I now name you Arabinism Nereverine. Champion of the Arabinism. Get from her the seizing of the Arabinism, an enchanted heirloom of the tribe, which shall be assigned to all Dunmer that the Arabinism have named you. Nereverine. Thank you. Okay, so I gotta go to the... I'm Hello? Hello. I am now Nereverine. Cool. Will you give me the thingy? Seizing of the Arabinism. Here we go. Uh, here, take this enchanted token of the Arabinism that all may know you. We have named you Nereverine and Champion. Thank you very much. Go and ahead, goodbye. Ahead. What do you need? All right, so now we just got to go back to the Urshalaku camp. Prepare my leap leapfrog spell and grab my fast pants. There we go. And let's make sure we're heading the right direction. And boing. I think this is slightly faster than flying the whole way there, but I also can fly. Although now that we're over Red Mountain, I might as well just fly. God, I have so much stuff in my inventory. <laughs> so cluttered. I need to get rid of this. Alright, we're just gonna fly. Oh, it's actually about the same speed.
Actually, maybe this flying is... I can't tell if this flying is faster or if the jumping is faster. Genuinely. It seems to be roughly the same. And here we are. Hello, Somatul. I'm back. Alright, um, my duty, Nerevarine, um, well, I went, I went and did all the things, uh, where do I, Zynab? What do I say to you? Flying does seem a lot faster than it used to be. I'm missing the pants effect that too. I'm not actually sure. I have no clue. The moon and star? Uh, um, fifth trial. Aha! Okay, you have fulfilled the fourth trial. You are Hortator of all three great houses right around Hualu and Telvani. So I greet you, Hortator and Nereverine. Okay, cool. Are you going to tell me what to do next? Okay, Dagothard. Uh, wait, no, never mind. I don't know where to be. You know what? I'm just going to go talk to the wise woman. She probably knows what to tell me. Hello. You are the Nereverine. Ask and I shall answer. You've been named Nereverine by the four tribes of Vardenfell. You've fulfilled that part of the prophecy. Uh, ba 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 ba. You'll fulfill the fifth trial of the seven visions. Okay, let me just see. Okay, so fourth trial. Is that fifth trial unites the Vilathi? Four tribes call on Nereverine. Sixth trial, he honors blood of the tribe unmourned. He eats their sin and is reborn. His mercy frees the curse of false gods. Okay, so I think I just have to kill Dagothar now. What does this prophecy mean? It, just, it tells us who the Nerverine will be. Okay, so... So what now? What do I do now? What do I do now? Uh-huh. Wait. Sixth trial. Okay, I was blind, but Azura Star guided me through my dreams. Vivek's high priest, Saryani, has asked me... Has asked to see you when you were Hortator and Nereverine. Go to him and demand to speak with the false god Vivek. Aha! Vivek has tried to keep Kagernak's tool secret. But you will need those tools before, when you stand before Dagothar. Get Kagernax tools from Vivek. They are the keys to the riddle of the 6th and 7th trial. Yes! There we go. So, I have to go see Vivek now. Alright, let's just save. Yes. And... I'm gonna just go run down to Margon because it's gonna be fastest that way. I just run to Margon. Uh, and I can take the Silt Striders and then it'll be faster than just uh, running there. Here we are, Margon. Ah, uh, yet another one of you. Outland. What is? All right, I'm gonna just trade away some of my garbage.
barter. Here we go. Uh, you only have 300 gold, but that is enough for you to buy some of these bone mold boots. You don't buy that. Okay, never mind then. You will buy potions though. Thanks. Okay, so who actually is the general goods trader here? Is it you? No. Not you. It's not you. So who... Who buys the stuff here? Huh. I guess no one then. Argon is a rather small town. Argon's shrine, okay. Argon guard tower. Okay, I guess there's not really anything here. So that's fine, we're just gonna take the Silt Strider out. Whatever you're looking for, I'm sure I don't know how to find Okay, well I was just gonna say I wanna take the Silt Strider out of here. Alright. Take me to Aldruin, please. Thank you. Alright, I'd like to sell some of my garbage. Pawnbroker. Speak, traveler. Wait, that's a Redoran. Hello, Barter. You will buy my stuff. Please accept uh, some of this. Oh, jeez. Okay, never mind. These Endoral shields are really expensive. Oh, man, these Endoral helmets are really expensive, too. So are the Endoral boots. Okay, cool. Good to know. Thanks, bye. Alright. You're the smith. Okay, you will buy some more stuff off of me. Uh, let me just unequip that real quick. Okay. Uh, chitin. I don't need chitin. Uh, Alright, seller max, and thank you. And this is general merchandise. Shall we? Mm hmm. You have lots of good money. A good deal over that's fine okay thank you very much goodbye so I got all of you bookseller I'm not interested all right clothier hello and you have exquisite pants I'd like those thank you very much uh, do you have exquisite anything else 
does not seem like it. So, in exchange for that, I will give you all of these garbage little clothing items. Expensive pants, expensive ring, expensive robe, expensive shirt. I'll be, que I'll be keeping anything exquisite. But beyond that, it's all yours. Alright, and I think that's all she'll buy, actually, so... Thanks, and bye. Okay. Alchemist. I'm listening. I'm listening. Uh-huh. Gonna buy all that off you and Swift Swim. I don't know where I got all these potions, but uh I don't need them. All yours, thank you. Bye. Enchanter, you will buy my equipment that I don't need. Uh, barter. Here we go. Uh, oh, do you want these Endoral belts? I don't want them. All yours. Alright. Bone mold boots. Already over. Okay. Thank you and goodbye. All right, that's Alderun drained of its money. We're gonna head over to Balmora now, drain them of their money, and then we're going to head to Vivek, and we're gonna go talk to Mr. Vivek himself. I mean, I'm pretty sure there's more money here in Alderun to be had, but not really worth my time. Travel, Balmora. We make a special trip. Pawnbroker, hello. Uh huh. Offer that. Goodbye. Uh, Outfitter is not going to have anything for me. So I'll go with the armor. Hello. How do you do? On this very fine day. I bet I just give you one of these. I need to get rid of that anyway. I think it might have been marked as stolen. Hello, Revere. My boy. For once, I'm not here to buy <laughs> um, your Daedric weapons. Or maybe I am. Not really sure. Don't want to accidentally sell Volendrung. I don't want to sell anything unique. I want to just hold on to anything that's like a unique weapon. But like all of these things that are not unique, I'm just going to get rid of them. I don't want them. Let's go with that. Thank you, Revere. Goodbye. Mage's Guild. Hello, Galbadir. You have 900 gold to give me, and I have well over 900 uh, worth of gold of stuff to give you. Will you please kindly take some of my cheaper things here? 900, and you can take one of these. So my max, thank you very much, and goodbye. Uh, Estir Delin, you don't. An 
adventurer, I presume. That's interesting. There was like some dialogue that actually misgendered a Steerdolin. Interesting. Uh, anyway, you, you'll buy potions. So please enjoy a very cheap sample of one of my finest potions. Thank you very much and goodbye. You don't barter. You also don't barter. Hi, Azura. Good to see you again. Uh, drain fatigue. Thank you very much and goodbye. Let's save real quick here. area. Oh boy. I think I accidentally moved the thing. Let me just fix that real quick. Uh, captions. Captions? There we go. Hello, captions. Captions? Are you working? Good. You are. Morrowind, are you... I think Morrowind's a little broken right now. <laughs> I'm going to close it and restart it. Give me just a second. Morrowind. Load. Good thing I saved right before that. Good thing, good thing. All right. Fighter's Guild. Yes. There we go. You don't barter. Nope. Do you? You do. Barter. Oh, that's right. I sold you some good stuff. Thank you very much. Wow, that's a pretty crazy... Uh... That's a pretty crazy sword right there. Fury? Huh. Interesting. What's this all about? Okay, I think that's the only guy who actually sells anything. In the Fighters Guild, so I'm gonna go up here, around. Let's check the fine outfitter for anything cool. Do you have any cool clothing? Extravagant. I don't see anything exquisite, so I don't really care then. And you won't buy any of this stuff, will you? Okay. So what do you buy then? Fine alchemist. Hello. Um, you have 3,000 gold waiting for me. I'll be taking that. Thank you very much and goodbye. Um, oh yeah, and then the temple. Last people I gotta exploit. You, barter. Oh, you're an enchanter. Perfect. You'll buy expensive stuff then. you. There you are. Oh, wait, I forgot. I'm the Nereverine, so these guys hate me now. They'll still buy my potions, though. Thank you. You're an outlaw. We, you belong to the temple, so we owe you courtesy and a warning. Yeah, okay. I don't care as long as I can still take your money. Oh. 
I don't know. Alright, goodbye. And let's see. Oh yeah, that's everyone in Balmora. To Vivek City we go! Alright, travel. Vivek! I'm not gonna bother going through Vivek City and trying to like take all of their money because they've just got too many places to go get money from. I'm just gonna run through here and uh, get to the Vivek Temple. Or Vivek's Palace, I mean. How do I get into Vivek's place? Are you the one? Quickly, did you want to meet, meet the Archcan? The Archcan is his private quarters. He very much wishes to speak with you. But I am to warn you, avoid confrontations with the Ordinators at all costs. Uh-huh. Yes. Okay, Archcannon. Where's the Archcannon's quarters? Is it here? Uh, wait, hold on. Let me go back and talk to that guy. Hey. Arch Cannon. Private quarters. Uh, private quarters in the southern half of the East Chapel of the High Fane. So the East Chapel of the High Fane, southern half ordinators. Okay. Uh, so, southern half of the Eastern. So it's this one. Wait, I need to go in here? Okay. No one sees me, right? Let's just save here real quick. Save. Please don't be in trouble. And open sesame. Hello, yes, you're the Arch Cannon. Is there something I can do for Hello. you? Hello. You know the Temple's Doctrine on the Narvarine? Yes, I do know that. Perhaps it's time to change that doctrine. The Temple must protect the people from false doctrines, and your associate... Uh, we've reached a crisis with Dagoth, we can no longer defend the people... Yeah. Uh, yeah, I will meet with Vivek. Yes. Good. Here are the two keys. One to the private back entrance to my quarters, and the other to a locked entrance to uh, Lord Vivek's palace. I regret that at the present. Ordinators are not completely under my control, so for now, I'll ask you to avoid confrontations with them. Lord Vivek is expecting you. His lordship is remarkably patient, but perhaps it would be better not to keep him waiting. Okay, thank you. I fucked up. Continue. Yes, I will meet with Vivek. Thank you. And goodbye. So I just have to be sneaky here. I'm just going to keep spamming uh, mission or smooth criminal. Keep forgetting that I've, I want to rename it. How do I get at? Okay, so where am I supposed to go? Aha, there he is. The one, the only Vivek. 
Why, hello there, Mr. Vivek. God, he looks weird in this game. Why is he all shiny? I'm standing on your little platform with you, bud. Hold on, I'm gonna take off my fancy fast pants so I can center him in the screen. <laughs> Look at this guy. He looks so weird. He can't decide whether he wants to sit or stand. Look at him, he's so fucking shiny. So anyway, Vivek, I expected you. We have business, you and I. We do. When I was young like you, I was very impatient, so I will keep our business short. Then, later, there may be time for other things. First, I propose to remove my curse upon the Nerevarine and the persecution of the dissident priests, and proclaim to Morrowind that uh, I am the Incarnate and the Nerevarine, the prophesied savior of Morrowind, and the last hope to withstand the menace of Dayother and the Sixth House. These things I will do, whether you wish or not. Okay. Next, I have proposed to surrender to you the power and responsibility of defeating Dagoth Ur. You may choose to refuse, I will not compel you. You will receive the power as a gift in the form of an artifact called Wraithguard. Oh yes, here we go. You may accept the gift, and then do with it as you will. You will receive the responsibility as an oath. You may give your oath, then keep it or break it as you like. First, will you accept Wraithguard as a gift? Yes, I accept Wraithguard. Because if I don't use Wraithguard, I will die when I try to use uh, Keening or Sunder. Good, sensible of you. And now, will you give your oath before all gods and men, before all spirits visible and invisible, before my honor and your honor, to dedicate yourself in Wraithguard to defeat and destruction of Dagoth Ur and the preservation of Morrowind and his people? Uh, yes to the defeat of Dagoth Ur, preservation of Morrowind and his people. Eh, not so sure about that one, but definitely defeat Dagoth Ur, yes. Not very sensible, but very good. I was hoping for someone who would have no hesitations about making such an oath. You will now have a brief, momentary sensation of time passing. Don't be alarmed. You are being taken out of time in order to avoid the unpleasant experience of learning how to use Wraithguard. What? It will be over before... <laughs> There's a brief sensation of motion in total darkness, floating, but without a sense of weight or direction. You know it. Now I will notify the temple that you are our champion. There shall be no more persecution of the dissident priests, and I hope both sides will swiftly be reconciled. We have time for questions if you like, or you may leave as you wish, but I think there are at least two things you ought to know before you leave. How to use Wraithguard and how to defeat Dagoth Ur. Yes, tell me. To defeat Dagoth Ur, go to Red Mountain to recover the, uh, the artifact hammer Sunder from Gate Citadel Veminal. Then recover the artifact blade Keening from the Gate Citadel Odrasal. Then we'll proceed with Wraithguard, Sunder, and Keening to the Citadel of Dagoth Ur. Within the Citadel, find the Heart of Lorcan. Use the three artifacts to sever Dagoth Ur's connection to the Heart, and he will be destroyed, and the Blight ended on Morrowind. Okay. Plan to de defeat Dagoth Ur has been added to your inventory. To destroy Dagoth Ur, you must sever his connection with the Heart of Lorcan. To do this, strike the Heart with the Artifact Hammer Sunder once. Then strike the heart more than once with the artifact blade Keening. You must wear Wraithguard because you cannot handle either Sunder or Keening unless you are wearing Wraithguard. That is a short, simple explanation. Here is a long, detailed explanation written down for your convenience. Read it, study it, commit it to memory. Okay. Red Mountain. In my library, I have made available two conflicting accounts of the events of Red Mountain. My own true account and another false account common among the Ashlanders and prefer preserved in the Apocrypha. I don't care whether you believe my account or not. I leave it up to you to judge which is true. So, um... I think the main difference between those two accounts is that in Vivek's account, uh, Nerevar, I think, is killed by Dagoth Ur, but in the, the, the quote-unquote false account common among the Ashlanders, um, Vivek killed Nerevar. Um along with uh, the rest of the tribunal. They all helped. They were all complicit in it. Now, there's a fun little thing uh, that I've heard about. I haven't I haven't gone through and checked myself, but there apparently uh, in Vivek's writings, in the sermons of Vivek, the 36 sermons, there are encoded messages 
saying that Vivek killed um, Nerevar. Like, I think if you check the first, or like a certain certain letters in one of the passages, it spells out like foul murder. Like, uh, if like certain numbers of like letters within the thing, it spells out foul foul murder, which is in reference to Vivek committing foul murder upon Nerevar and killing him. So yeah, Vivek is Vivek likes to like tattle on himself. Yeah. So yeah, it's kind of interesting. Do you have any counsel? You need to know where is Dagoth Ur. Uh, oh wow, this is gonna be a lot of reading. Okay, I know where Dagoth Ur is. I've I've literally seen him from above. He's at the peak of Red Mountain. Dagoth Ur has never ventured out of the Heart Chamber, the place under Red Mountain where the heart of Lorcan lies. It is there or nearby that he is constructing a new god, Akulakan, also known as Second Numidium. Oh boy. So yeah, there's some there's some deep lore here. So. Um, basically, part of the reason why, uh, and this, this goes down to the story of Red Mountain again, but part of the reason why, uh, the dwarves disappeared is they were working on creating the Numidium, a machine god. And, uh, Keening and Sunder, the, the artifacts that we need to go get, were used to tamper with the heart of Lorcan, which is, you know, the heart of the god that created the world. Um... Those tools were used to tamper with the Heart of Lorcan to make the Numidium. And uh, depending on who you ask, either the Numidium was a success and the dwarves all ascended to godhood, or it was a great failure and it killed them all. I don't know. Up to, up to interpretation. Also, let me fix my tracking real quick. It's being a little weird. Just another second. All right, we're good. So yeah, okay. Uh, what are Dagother's plans? Uh, we know nothing for sure, but we have learned much from interrogating six Halt cultists and victims of dream compulsions, and from our and from our study of Dagother's actions, uh, the Temple scholars and Inquisitors have prepared a document, Dagoth Ur's plans, that summarizes what we know or suspect. Take this copy. It's also available in my library. Cool. Who are Dagother's servants? Chief among his servants are his seven brothers, the Ash Vampires, powerful heart rites and cunning sorcerers of old. These creatures appear to die, but are always revived at the heart. Somehow Dagother has conferred some portion of his immortality upon them, or perhaps they sustain themselves through more conventional sorcery. Oh, I think all those Dagoth dudes that we've killed, I think those are Ash Vampires. Also, why am I why are my eyes going crazy like that? I need to tweak that. They're a little, a little too sensitive. Who is Dagother? Dagother is a former Lord High Counselor of House Dagoth. He was of Lord Nerevar's generation, older than we. Not older than we. You're, you're older than him. And a mighty sorcerer, or I guess you're about the same age. A mighty sorcerer and enchanted in life. In his sustained shadow of mortality, he appears to be a highly intelligent, severely deluded, immortal monster with unparalleled supernatural abilities. He appears by turns lucid and deranged, compassionate and bestial, profoundly wise and profoundly disordered. In short, he is a mad god. Okay. What are Dagother's powers? He is able to send his mind to the dreams of susceptible victims across vast distances. The victims are either swayed by his compulsions or driven mad. He also seems nearly invulnerable to physical and magical harm. His flesh and the flesh of his followers evolves towards a mutable, magical form. Dagoth are in the highest ranks can control the distorted manifestations of their flesh. Lower ranks lose control of their bodies and become mindless corpus monsters. Okay. What is known about Dagoth or er his defenses? Uh, confer with the Ordinators and Boyan Armagers garrisoning Ghost Escape from Blaze. Okay, yeah. Uh, how can I prepare for battle? Prepare for war. Beyond the Ghost Fence, there are no safe places, no allies. Stockpile resources, plan for retreat and replenishment. Quest for the Artifacts of Power. Oh, I'll be fine. I'm sure of it. I'll be just okay. Who can help? 
Ordinators and buoyant armagers stationed at Ghostgate have the most practical knowledge of the nightmare world inside the ghost fence. Seek them in my name for counsel and aid. Okay. Cool. Goodbye, Vivek. Gonna save here real quick as stream. And uh, I want to kill Vivek real quick. Actually, do I have just a soul trap spell? Okay, I, I've soul trapped Vivek. And now I'm going to kill him. With a tactical nuke. Dear lord, he has a lot of health. With this character's death, the thread of prophecy is severed. Restore a saved game to restore the weave of fate, or persist in the doomed world you have created. <laughs> there he is. Vivek is killed. And I have his soul in a little thingy. Azura Star Vivek. <laughs> okay, we're going to load a save. I don't I don't think I want Vivek's death to be permanent because also it breaks the game like that. That little message there means that I've broken the game. So I'm going to get out of here. Ah, good old Bardow. So, yeah, the, the game gets broken if you kill Vivek. That's just how it is. Also, I wanted to do that now because I think after you beat Dagother, I think he just kind of disappears. I'm not really sure what happens. But I know in the lore for sure that after the events of this game, Vivek just kind of slowly fades away. Like, out into obscurity. Perhaps literally too, but most likely not literally. Anyway, let's put on our fast pants again. Uh, what was my mission? I have to go to Red Mountain, get Sunder and Keening. And the, I, I should read the plan to defeat Dagother, that's right. Uh, Kagranax tools. That's not the one I was looking for anyway, but... Uh, oh, let's read Dagother's plans. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Basic objectives. Establish a theocracy in Morrowind based on the worship of the newborn god Akulakon, second Numidium, to be created by Dagoth Ur from the heart of Lorcan, and a body constructed according to the principles and rituals pioneered by the Dwemer Kagranak. Establish the ancient heirs of House Dagoth as the god priests of Akulakon, and the sixth house of Dagoth Ur as the dominant political power in Morrowind. Through charismatic conversion, unite the Dunmer under the guidance of Dagoth Ur to battle against the foreign animals who hold Morrowind in subjection. Note, Dagother has apparently adopted the views and motivations of the Dwemer High Craft Lord Kagranak. In effect, he recapitulates the ancient blasphemous folly of the Dwemer. Okay. Expose the false worship of the tribunal and destroy the ecclesiastical authority and political power of the temple. How much the distant priest or cult of the Nereverine may be controlled or influenced by the sixth house in this regard is to open to speculation. Extirpate all remaining in individuals of inferior and monger races from Morrowind. Oh, jeez. Oh, okay, buddy. Uh, drive the Empire from Morrowind. Recover ancient territory stolen by Skyrim and Argonia. Extend the worship of Akulakan to all nations of Tamriel through subversion and conquest. Uh, okay. So yeah, Dagother wants to take over the world with Akulakan. He's, uh, crazy. Anyway, where's there it is. Plan to defeat Dagother. For the past 20 years, the Tribunal have tried unsuccessfully to execute this plan. However, we failed because we were required to stage an assault and simultaneously maintain the ghost fence to prevent the threatened large-scale breakout of Dagother's blighted hosts. With the Nereverine leading the assault and the Tribunal free to devote their full energies to maintaining the ghost fence, this plan has a greater chance of success. Unfortunately, however, the loss of the artifacts Sunder and Keening and the recent increase in Dagother's strength poses new problems for the execution of the plan. Yeah, it sounds pretty fascist to me. I know, right? Therefore, our proposed plan has the following five phases. A series of aggressive raids to scout inside the ghost fence. A series of aggressive raids to neutralize Dagother's ash vampire kin and recover artifacts from the bodies of his kin. 
an assault on of Gate Citadel of Veminal to neutralize Dagoth of Emin and recover the ancient artifact hammer Sunder. An assault of Gate Citadel Odrasal to neutralize Dagoth Odros and recover the artifact blade Keening. An assault of Citadel Dagoth with the artifacts Wraithguard, Sunder, and Keening to sever Dagoth's conviction. Uh huh. Phase one raids inside the ghost fence. Uh huh. The region inside the ghost fence is dangerous, and the Nerevarian will need to be familiar with his particular challenges. After measuring skills and resources against Dagoth's defenses, the Nerevarian will know will know better how to pace a campaign, alternating raids with improving skills, getting better equipment, and stockpiling resources. Uh huh. Dagoth's can. Yep. 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 Okay. Uh, Veminal. Here we go. This is where we get to Sunder. Uh, has possession of Sunder, and probably seeks to discover the secrets of its enchantments. He may also have access to notebooks and journals of Kagernak that have survived in the Dwemer workshop of Vaminal. Uh huh. Odrasal. Probably seeks to discover the secrets of its enchantments. He may also have access to notebooks. Yeah, 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 yeah. Salta Citadel Dagoth. Okay. So that's the plan then, I guess. Uh, what was what was the first step? What was I supposed to do first? Um, Okay, so now I have to go... What? Well, you saw that, right? I just clipped straight through a... I clipped straight through that bridge. What the hell? That's weird. Okay. Well, not a big deal, I guess. Yeah, anyway. Just gonna... Make my way out of here. Okay, okay, this time is different. What? Excuse me? <laughs> I've managed to clip inside of the canton. Well, time to take a screenshot. Hold on, give me just a second. Um... Control the, the print screen. I'm just gonna post this in the Discord server real quick. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, we're uh, we're in a weird place now. I seem to have lost the ability to jump. Uh, well, that's a little problematic, but oh well, that's fine. Uh, okay, so next step is to go... Hello? I'd like to jump, please. I can't seem to jump. Yeah, the game's kind of falling apart. I'm becoming too powerful. Like, I, I literally cannot jump right now. Uh... Oh wait, no, I was, I was sneaking. That's what it was. So you can't jump while sneaking. That's a little... that's weird. It doesn't really make sense. But, uh, okay. The game isn't falling apart quite yet. I mean, it kind of is. I did manage to clip through the building. 
somehow. Not really sure how he did it, but I managed to clip through. Anyway, we're gonna just uh, continue on our way. Yeah, I moved so... I know, right? <laughs> this looks so funny, oh my god. <laughs> Um, God, yeah, these animations are hilarious. I don't even know where I'm going right now. I'm, I'm just wandering. Just wandering through Morrowind. Across Vardenfell. Whee! Just following the road to nowhere. Oh, actually, now that I saw her, I know exactly where I am. Let's just run over to Belmora real quick. And then uh, we'll assess our plan from there. So, I was thinking maybe I should go to... Um, okay, I don't think this is a road to Belmora, but whatever, it's fine. Uh, I think I want to pay a visit to Mr. Yagram uh, back in the Corpusarium. Over at Telfir, wherever that was. Telfir is over there. Actually, this was the road to Belmora, but that's that's fine. Okay, so I want to just keep going this way. Wee! There's Fort Moon Moth. So yeah, I want to go say hi to my buddy Yagrim. And then, after that, I'm going to go and try and grab... Uh... Sunder. The Artifact Hammer. We're almost there, Telfir. Man, I love crossing the game in a matter of seconds. Right, here it is, Telfir. Hey, what's up, Devaith? My man, Devaith Fear, cured me of the Corpus disease. Alright, where do I go to the Corpusarium? Down this way. That's not the door. This is Corpusarium, here we go. Hey dude. Fresh game. Corpusarium bowels. We run. Uh, which way was it to the to the guy? I forgot. Um, aha, there he is. Hey, Agram. What's up, Agram? No, I'm not here for the Dwemer boots. I I came for that last time. Um. Okay, actually, he doesn't have anything new to say. Not yet, anyway. Uh, Wraith Guard! Oh, wow! Now that's cool. Let's just put that on. Hey, Yagrum. Do you have anything to say about Wraith Guard here? Guess not. Alright, see ya! Okay, so Yagrum didn't have anything to say. So... So we'll just head out of here. Glad I said hi. Uh, 
tell Devaith I said hi, guys. Bye, I'm out of here. Okay, I'm gonna, like, jump straight into Red Mountain. And just, like, you know, cause some chaos. So yeah, there's Dagoth Ur. I'm just gonna head over to Ghost Gate. at Ghost Gate. Should be just around the corner here. Hello? Ghost Gate? Ghost Gate? Nope. Ghost Gate is up here. Somewhere over here. Okay, Ghost Gate. There it is. There's Ghost Gate. Alright, I'm literally just gonna just go right in. Just run straight through into Red Mountain. Hey guys, what's going on? We're in the Red Mountain zone. Yasu Mine. I see something up there. Oh, Drassel. Oh, okay, so we... This is actually already marked on my map. So let's just head over to Veminal. This is a hard slope to climb. I don't think you're meant to climb that. <laughs> let's go around this way. God, look at that. There's so many of them. Is this Veminal? No, this is Dagother's place. We're gonna keep going around. Ooh, nice long bridge. Here we go. Are we almost there? Yeah, we're almost there. There it is. Hello. Uh, Hi guys, good to see you. Uh, how do I get in? Okay, here we go. Let me know. Outer Fortress. Let's just head in. And see what awaits. Let's take off the fast pants. And let's get out my kill spell. Of course there's a- yeah, of course there's a cliff racer. Every time. There's always a cliff racer. I'm gonna take off the ring of the Hortator because I want my other ring. I want unlimited power. I want my magicka to regenerate. I want lots and lots of magicka here. Hello, Ash Slave. Okay. Skeletal corpse. Who are you? Dagoth Nylor. Okay, cool. Cool, bunch of stuff in here. Ebony, salts, gems, more ebony, scrap metal. So this place is Dwemer in origin. Interesting. Dwarven short sword, corpus meat, 
pitchers, corpus meat. Let's check the other side here. Hey, dude. Okay. You are fancy looking. Dagoth what? Dagoth Garel. Okay. Got a Dwarven War Axe. Paper, a Dwemer coin. Very nice. A Dwemer shield. Another Dwarven spear. Nice. Very nice stuff here. Very cool. Rusty Dwemer cog. Just gonna loot this place for everything it's worth. Alright. We head down, and I think this passage here... Yeah, that meets up to the other one. Alright. that thank you very much ingredients lots and lots of little ingredients ooh a grandmaster's calcinator oh i don't have that uh i'll pass on the potions actually take that special flora of tamriel words of camelze Grandmaster's Alembic. Oh my god, there's some good stuff here. Parchment with scrawlings. Um, I think I've seen this one before. Nice stuff here. But yeah, Grandmaster's Calcinator and Alembic. That's, that's great. Some good stuff there. Vaminal Hall of Torque. Hello there. Dig off Felmis. Let's uh, check that hallway. What are you? Is that a Dramora? That is a Dramora. What are you doing here? Moral Lord, okay. Oh, oh, okay, there's stuff here. I'm just gonna open up all these doors. Okay, there's something going on down there. Uh, let's again check the halls. Okay. Oh, and then this just this just leads down, doesn't it? Okay. <laughs> it's funny that this guy's named Beldo the Undying, but uh, he's very much dead. So Dagos Solar. Anything cool down here? You are the undying, and yet you died. Hold on, this guy's gotta be important. He's wearing like a whole... Dagoth Vemin! This is... Yes, there it is, Sunder! Amulet of Heart Heal. Nice. Alright, so he'll come back eventually, probably, but uh... We're not worried, because we have Sunder now. Alright, that was actually pretty easy. We might be able to finish um, Morrowind today. Um, of course, not in one sitting, because it is 5 o'clock now. And that means that I'm going to be going, so I can feed myself and such. Um, but I will be back at around... Uh, seven-ish. And also, I have been feeling better recently. Um, 
my sickness is going away. My fever broke yesterday. Yeah, I will try to eat something tasty. My fever did break yesterday, and I, I, ne I, I felt very alive. Uh, okay, so that's them and all. We're gonna save here, yeah. Um, yeah, I'm feeling, I'm feeling pretty good. Still feeling a little congested, but overall, feeling a lot better. Hopefully, I won't be contagious, and I'll be able to resume normal activities soon. But anyway, that's all for now. I hope to see you in two hours when I come back. Uh, so, goodbye for now.